Hello guys, in this video I will show you 5 methods that may help you while validating data inside form request like that. Here in my controller I am using this form request class and displaying you are in controller message and all request data like that. As you see here I passed my name and user ID parameter. So here in our class our first method is prepare for validation. If you notice here I wrote prepare for validation before rules because it works before entering rules method like that they undump and prepare back and test again and here is our prepare before entering rules and this method is useful if you want to format data for example here if you notice I wrote my name all in lowercase but I want each first letter will be in capital let me refresh and as you see I use UC first and Ahmed the first letter is capital and let's use UC words instead UC words and each first letter will be in capital like that right the second method here is failed validation if you notice here as its name suggests it works if validation rules failed so for example here name and user ID both of them are required and if I remove name I will receive this message let me comment it here this message name field is required but if you want to override this message you can use failed validation method it take validator parameter here this class from contracts and you can throw in exception for example I wrote something went wrong like that refresh and as you see 422 and something went wrong if you keep it empty without any logic it will continue directly to controller if you want to tolerant validation errors you can make it empty so refresh and here is our controller right so back again set our message refresh and something went wrong and back name again and it continued to controller after success the next method is the opposite of failed validation is past validation so after past validation and before going to controller this method is called so dd past validation refresh and here before going to controller this method is called right you may want to include some data like that is guest or not and yeah I include is guest and I check if user is guest or authenticated so refresh again I am here only sending a name and user ID but after success I included is guest key here so refresh and if you notice is guest has been added the next one is attributes method this user ID for example I want to override user ID error to user so let me comment it again here and to be more clear I will remove this user ID right and here something went wrong also I want to comment it here refresh and if you see the user ID field is required but what if we want to change this user ID to any value we want to make it more clearer we can use attributes and I say for user ID errors this one here this one show user only or write anything we want so refresh and the user field is required it's useful if user for example selecting username from options and value is integer right the last one here messages it's completely overrides the error message so for example here for any error related to user ID field or rule here this one display this message for example now instead of required it will completely overridden by error in user value so refresh again and here is error in user value here is how to use these five methods for form request support me by clicking on lecture and subscribe see you in next videos